In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a little-known program called Cam Studio. Cam Studio uh, is the program I'm using right now to capture what you're seeing. Everything I move on this video is captured by Cam Studio, so it's a screen recorder. It's absolutely free. It's open source, so you can see the source code for it, and uh, it's a really great program. To download it, all you have to do is go to Google download cam studio it's the first result scroll all the way down whoops I passed it here it is uh, it says <laughs> you use SourceForge I don't know you can get it from SourceForge or you can click these convenient links uh, this is cam studio and this is lossless codec so you download cam studio you open it, now you have Cam Studio here. Uh, I recommend you install the lossless codec, it's pretty useful. So now we go to options, video options, and now we're going to set a compressor. Compressors are so that your video turns out a small file size. For example, instead of the movie being 500 megabytes, it's going to be 5 megabytes. It's reasonable enough to upload onto YouTube. YouTube has a 100 megabyte limit for videos. Using a compressor will make them much smaller. By default, Microsoft Video One is the compressor. It will make uh, your video files a huge file size, so don't don't use it. Use either DivX or Camless Cam Studio Lossless Codec. DivX is free, so you can download it. Uh, DivX Pro is not free, so download the free version. Uh, uncheck the boxes that ask you for the DivX player, the DivX conver converter, and the other stuff. Only install the codec. Uh, and also you can configure the bitrate. Set it to 256. Clicking this button here. Uh, and you want to reset the settings. I set quality 60. Uh, set frames every 30 seconds. You need to uncheck this auto adjust button. Capture frames every 50 seconds and 20 seconds. By default, the the options in Cam Studios don't work. And if they do work, they set it up with like some kind of time lapse feature, meaning that your audio and video are not synchronized. So I recommend you use these settings with Div DivX. Everything works great. Okay, now just go to OK. Now you're ready to record. You can record whatever you want now, but uh, let's configure the audio. Let's say record audio from microphone. Record audio from speakers re will record from stereo mix, meaning that if you're playing a game or something, it'll capture the audio too that's coming from your computer. So we have it on record audio from microphone. I'm going to set the audio options to audio options for microphone and I'm gonna reset it uh, to a smaller format I like using lame mp3 click choose compress format by default it's PCM if you have MPEG layer 3 around there I would recommend you use that uh, PCM I guess is okay it's not horrible but I like lame mp3 it makes the videos a little bit smaller to download lame mp3 you have to download it yeah sorry um, you go to Google Google and I'm gonna search um, lame download uh, audacity has a quick link page that will let you download it for Windows just click um, lame mp3 lame download page and click one of these links save this file you have it right here go ahead and unzip it with your zip program I like 7z zip you can use winzip or winrar and here we have the files ignore everything except ACM and right click here and install this will install lame on your computer now if you 
open Cam Studio again. If you go to Tools, Audio Options, Microphone, you should have Lame MP3 as an option in this list. Uh, 32 kilobits and 22 hertz mono is really good. It's, it makes your audio files really small, so you will have very compressed audio and compressed video that will show up well on YouTube. It has a lot of options like cursor options. Uh, I think all these are basically <coughs> pretty straightforward. Uh, 320 by 240 is the YouTube default size, so it's uh, usually good enough. Again, if you want to teach your friends how to download music online or you want to show them how to do something, uh, there's always great demand for video tutorials and visual learning online, so upload your video tutorials.